News 4 Jax investigates in the midst of a major shakeup. One Spark's biggest investor says 2016 is make or break for the popular festival. We confirmed today the resignation of a prominent board member. Also, the CEO and founder of One Spark, along with two other staffers, also resigned yesterday. News 4 Jax investigator Lindsay Gardner sat down with One Spark's board chairman to find out how the festival's moving forward. Today we learned the date for this year's One Spark in April isn't even guaranteed. I've been combing through the nonprofit's financials to answer if this event aimed at launching new businesses can even sustain itself. The world's largest crowdfunding festival could be in jeopardy. We found since its inception, One Spark has hemorrhaged money, hundreds of thousands of dollars gone all while being a huge public success, drawing 700,000 people downtown and supporting 1,500 projects. Board Chairman Peter Rummel says change isn't always easy, but necessary. Will this shakeup put a blemish on the OneSpark organization? If we screw up, yeah. Out the door is the founder and CEO of OneSpark, Elton Rivas, along with two other staffers and a board member. Did the board specifically ask Elton Rivas to resign, and if so, why? I think it was, I would say it was a mutual decision. Um, as, I, as I said, we were, we're going in a different direction. The, the, the world, the next four years is not like the last four. To stop the financial bleeding, Rumble unveiled a second business model today. He says OneSpark Ventures will aim to pair creators with resources and make money year round. 2016 can't be like 2015. We lost, we lost a lot of money in 2015. We lost a lot of money in 2014. We can't keep doing that. Jason McDonald says he has one spark to thank for making his business dreams come true. Because it is an excellent event. It really helped us launch our company, and we hope that it'll do the same for others. At the first ever One Spark, Fresh Jacks, a lifestyle facility trying to bridge healthy eating and exercise through yoga, came in eighth place overall and walked away with a $3,000 check. McDonald says as a businessman himself, the changes make financial sense. I, I, I probably wanted to be overly shocked because it was a lot of money going out to entrepreneurs. And for the most part, from what I gather, is Peter Rummel had donated a ton of money. And really, we were getting checks of, of, for a very small portion of that donation. So if the donation stopped, then what's next? Other changes to expect. The festival will shrink to three days this year and have a smaller pool of creators. Mayor Lenny Curry couldn't attend today's announcement because he's in Tallahassee working on the city's pension problem. He did send a letter in support of One Spark Ventures and said, quote, One Spark has transformed our community. In the studio, Lindsay Gardner, Channel 4, The Local Station.